a local seamstress and designer can make it, she can do your typical alterations to take things in or let things out. And where her real joy comes is creating you a one of a kind look. Fox 8's Tess Bargeber shows us the talent sitting behind a sewing machine at Elizabeth's Alterations in Greensboro. In 1992, at the age of 23, Elizabeth Mebin left Vietnam and came to Greensboro. The only thing I bring with me is um, the skill that suit maker. She worked in a local factory helping to make men's suits. Eventually, she quit and opened her own business, Elizabeth's Alterations. I keep grow growing and growing, yes, from nothing to a big bridal salon. Her latest location is on Battleground Avenue. Here's the fabric that I already had in here. I, I keep it much as I can because sometimes people come in, try to custom make some piece. That is Elizabeth's favorite part of the job. It's uh, actually custom make one, um, custom make piece right there. Whether you need a wedding dress, prom dress, or something for another special occasion. Uh, I can make stuff from the scrap. <laughs> This alterations expert with two decades of experience is ready to create whatever style you want. I'm um, become a designer, and I'm not just alteration bridal, but I also um, designer and custom make wedding dress and formal wear. She also does bead work. I do sass and veils and everything. Inside her workroom, the team of three also alters, repairs, and resizes clothing for men, women, and children. This is the master tailor. He focuses on menswear. This is the hole that we just cutting. Hannah helps her with a lot of the hems and other alterations. Help is not easy to find in this industry. After COVID, I have such a hard time to get some help. This is a skilled profession that takes perfection. Because I take care of a lot of high-end stuff, so I like to have someone that have uh, the best experience. Just like on the suit why we only hire master tailor. Elizabeth found people either don't have the skill to sew. Every time I need someone, I cannot just go out and hire somebody. I have to train. Or they've lost interest in it. Training and working the same time is not work. She decided to start a school. People already start lining up to learn how to sew to get a lesson. Elizabeth hopes this will gain her some new employees and get more people into an industry she loves. I not just work for a living and I also able to do what I love to do. And I don't mind to spend day and night here. In Greensboro, Tess Bargeber, Fox 8 News. And she